We're four weeks into 2021. That's right. It's time for the vlog 2021-04. Coming up. <laughs> This week I got to see Indiana, Iowa, Illinois, Texas, a little bit of everything. Let's take a look at it day by day. Finished up a reset on Sunday morning and it was time to roll. In school they stress and stress about doing a tug test and making sure your fifth wheel's in good shape. I don't know what failed, but that trailer doesn't belong in that ditch. When the temperatures are close to freezing and you're seeing cars in the ditch like this taxi cab, you should start to pay close attention. One car in the ditch is just somebody who was foolish, driving too fast in the wet conditions. But when you see more than one car off the road in a short period of time, it's a good indication there is something wrong. After seeing the fourth accident in an hour, I decided maybe it was time to get off the road. They say if you can see spray coming off the wheels of the vehicles in front of you, it's not frozen. And that is a good idea in theory, but something put all these cars in ditches. Besides, it was dinner time. I was hungry. There's always a lot going on and we have a lot to be paying attention to. I'm gonna stop the slide here for a second and show some things. Here's just a few things to look at. This truck's gonna need extra space to make its turn. There's a truck route sign and I've got a patrol car creeping up on the right side. So I stopped well short giving him plenty of room to make that turn in case he had to come across my lane. I decided to spend the night at Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop in Walcott, Iowa. I didn't know trucking along with Kiersey happened to be here the same night or would have had taken opportunity to say hi to her and her student. That big puddle I just parked in is going to be a nice sheet of ice in the morning. Got to be real careful getting out of the truck when there's ice on the ground like that. I just love looking at the snow on the sides of the road.
I'm a sucker for a good cityscape. As we go into Wednesday, watch the cityscape coming up on my left. You see it way off in the distance there. And you're going to see it as it gets closer and we go through the city. Prior to becoming a truck driver, I did not think about parking. Driving four-wheelers, we usually don't see these back lots of the truck lots that are full and have people creating parking places like alongside the exit here. This is a no parking zone. There are not supposed to be all of these trucks along the side here. The reason the trucks are there is because there is no place else for them and their clock says they must shut down. One place we do see a lot of trucks when we're driving our cars, especially at night, is on the entrance and exit ramps to the interstate. When the truck stops fill up, truckers have to find some place to park, so they use the entrance and exit ramps as a place to shut the truck down to get their break. To avoid parking on ramps, I use Trucker's Path. Trucker's Path is an app. All of us have it. But there's a prediction over here on the right side. And if you're using that prediction, it can usually tell you if a lot is going to be full by what time. That's my secret to staying off the ramps. I do not sleep well on a ramp. I need to be in a legal parking place to sleep well. Out of all the clips on Friday, I picked two clips because of the sky in both. I just absolutely love this sky.
And that's going to be the vlog for this week. I hope you enjoyed some of the views and some of the things that I see out my window. I also tried to turn out some regular content videos this week, and I hope you enjoyed those as well. Stop by again next week for vlog number five. Remember to like, share, and follow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We're really getting those numbers up there on the followers. One day I'll be able to do live. <laughs>